Amsam was sipping a fizzy drink when suddenly a loud burp escaped from his mouth. Embarrassed, Amsam wondered, why do we burp? Determined to know, Amsam shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place was busy, bubbling with liquid and food. Around him, waves of muscles were churning and mixing everything together. But what caught his attention were pockets of air rising up through the mix. Amsam tried to find out where the bubbles came from. Some had entered when he swallowed food too quickly. Others had formed from the fizzy drink, releasing carbon dioxide gas inside the stomach. Suddenly, the brain sensed the pressure and sent a command. The stomach walls tightened and the esophageal sphincter valve at the top of the stomach opened briefly. Amsam stumbled as the trapped air shot upward through the food pipe. It roared through the throat and with a final burst escaped through the mouth. Outside, it was heard as a burp. As another bubble rose, Omsum clung to the moving walls. He saw that burping wasn't random or useless. It was the body's way of getting rid of extra air that didn't belong in the stomach. If the air stayed trapped, it would only cause pressure and discomfort. Leaping back outside, Omsum smiled proudly. Amsum was enjoying a big meal of fruits and bread when he suddenly wondered, how does our digestive system work? His curiosity sparked. He shrank and slipped inside his own mouth. All around him, teeth were grinding food into smaller pieces. Streams of saliva splashed down, making the food soft and mushy. Amsum tried to keep his balance, but slipped and slid down the throat. Powerful muscles pushed him forward like waves, carrying him through a long tunnel called the esophagus. Suddenly, he was dropped into a huge chamber, the stomach. The walls around him moved like giant muscles, squeezing and squashing the food again and again. From the walls oozed strong digestive juices filled with acid and enzymes. The juices bubbled and frothed, turning chunks of food into a thick, soupy liquid called chyme. Then the stomach squeezed the mixture into narrow winding tubes, the small intestine. Here, tiny finger-like shapes called villi covered the walls. Omsum watched in amazement as nutrients seeped through the villi into the blood. But the powerful squeezing of the intestines tossed him back and forth. Next, he was carried into the large intestine. Here, water was absorbed, leaving the rest thicker and drier. Amsum tumbled along with the waste as strong muscles pushed everything forward. At last, Amsum was pushed out, landing safely outside the body. He smiled proudly. Amsum was fast asleep one night when his dreams suddenly twisted into frightening shapes. He found himself running through endless shadows, chased by creatures that made no sense. He woke up with his heart pounding and wondered, why do we get nightmares? Determined to find out, Amsum drifted back into sleep and floated deep into his own mind. All around him were glowing bubbles of thoughts and memories. He entered a vast chamber where dreams were created. At first, the place seemed calm, with bright colors and playful scenes dancing in the bubbles. But then the shadows stirred, and from the darkness rose swirling waves of worry and stress. The shadows swept across the chamber, tossing broken memories and scraps of fear into the dream chamber. Peaceful pictures warped into strange, scary scenes. Amsum tried to steady himself, but the shadows grew stronger, feeding on every anxious thought. The chamber spun into chaos, and Amsum was pulled into a whirlwind of nightmares. He tumbled through the storm, chased by twisting shapes, each one built from fragments of his own memories. Then, 
Amsam noticed something important. Huh? The brain sometimes mixes worries or stresses into dreams, turning them into nightmares. By testing scary situations, the mind learns how to stay alert and safe. With this realization, the storm of shadows began to fade and the dream chamber slowly brightened. When Aum Sum huh? awoke, he was smiling proudly <laughs> as he had solved the nightmare mystery.